Hey there, and today I'm with Matt, and we're hey. going to do a uh, we're going to do an episode review. But before that, I have a package opening to do. Uh, this is comes from Film Fatale. If you haven't checked out her channel, she's got a fantastic channel. So check in the description box down below. That's where the link's going to be. Uh, she has a lot of unboxings and stuff like that. Did some Arrow unboxings that I was really into, and she does like a kind of a review, a Film Fatale review thing as well, which is really cool. So I took the thing of pre-opening it, and. Uh, because, you know, it makes this, these unboxings like, go, go better. And I actually have a machete. Now, I already have machete. So, my son and daughter are here, and they do not have machete. Oh. So, I'm going to pass it forward, and, I, and this one here is going to be the Blu-ray for you guys. Oh, okay. Interesting. My so, favorite <coughs> spin-off of Spy Kids. So, yes, the, the good spin-off of Spy Kids. But were there any other spin-offs? No, not okay. just that one. Uh, that's an awesome film. Anyway. Yeah. <coughs> And uh, I've got to get machete kills with Lady Gaga doing a tiny roll. Is she really? Yeah. Oh, wow. <clears throat> but uh, have you seen it? No, I have not seen it. Have you seen it? Yeah. Ultra violent fun. You'll love it. <clears throat> anyway, my daughter's here. Uh, my son's girlfriend Jenny is here. So they're kind of the off-camera voices right now. So, but what we're going to do right now, we're going to talk about Arrow, the latest episode. We've been seeing Red. We've been oh, seeing Red. Oh. I've been seeing Red a lot on this during this episode. Oh, it's because you're a big, big angry butt. Oh uh, yes, even... I'm the angry guy this time around. I'm not. I was not a fan of this episode. Uh, there were certain things I liked about it. Um, a couple of my favorite characters like went. Uh, I was. Fair. It was basically this episode was about uh, was about, was a Roy essentially yeah. episode because the uh, the Mirakuru and all the things finally caught up to him, and he's uh, he's full on rise and uh, rise and fall of Arsenal, or fall and rise of Arsenal. So yeah, we're. Okay. I think where he's going with the Red Arrow thing is where they're going with right now. So he's going to be the yeah. Red Arrow. But, uh, yeah. it's, it's, you know, he had, they had him come out of the coma, and, yeah. uh, he was just basically, like, in the last episode, because of, uh, the Miraku, uh, being, like, drained out of, and got all mixed in his body, so. For some reason, it causes some sort of insanity, and we saw it before with, the uh, with, with Slade, and how we saw, God, what's your name again? Uh, Shadow. Yeah, saw Shadow as, like, kind of, like, as a ghost, like, coming to him and telling him what to do, and it's kind of like that evil part of, part of you. Yeah. And for Roy, that evil part of him is uh, is Tessa. Or Thea. Thea. Who is Tessa? Tessa's what? from the other show. Yeah, Smallville. yeah. Smallville. Which See, find out I was actually talking about Smallville. This yeah, we just around. had a discussion about Smallville. And so there I am. The differences. Uh, but, uh... There's a reason this is coming into it. Yeah. I yeah. hated Tessa, but you like her. I, yeah, she's not bad. <clears> not too like bad. She was cute, but she wasn't like... For, mm. She wasn't like Lana, Lana, or she wasn't like Lana. No, but like... They, okay, they back to this show. To back that. to the show we're supposed to be reviewing. Yeah. Uh, seeing Red was it was a it was a good filler. It was a filler episode, but it had some interesting stuff happen. Uh, Mara went to uh, to Blood and said she was going to quit the race in order to uh, to concentrate on Thea, who was you know was upset of course after finding yeah. out that Malcolm Merlin's her dad. Yeah. Neither one of these people know that Malcolm Merlin's alive at this point, but we do because we've yeah. seen him in the uh, in an early episode, and we know obviously he's coming back. Oh yeah. Uh, Size Twitter account, so he's come back. Uh, and uh, basically, uh, we got to see Roy go on a rampage. That's yeah, Roy went on a rampage. It's kind of like he did when he, he was in. Uh, some people. He full on Dark Knight Rises. Uh, Freaking uh, Oliver hurts his leg, so he's got to get on a brace. Possibly, I don't know yeah. where they're going with that. I can think where they might try and go with that. He also introduced a couple of interesting things there. They introduced that that Oliver potentially has a child out there. Yeah. So I I'm think Connor Hawk. Yeah. Yeah. So they didn't say her name at all. Way the too early so. to have Connor Hawk introduced into the show. I don't know. But having the concept that he might be out there is yeah. is okay. I'm okay yeah. with that as long as you don't rush it and we see yeah, like six year old Connor Hawk. Right? Six and uh, yeah, um, they they did that. Unless you find something like that. What? Yeah, right where you're like some kind of soap opera thing. Yeah. I could see that. Uh, there's, uh, they had the flashbacks, uh, flashbacks this week focused on, uh, Moira. obviously Moira, uh, Moira and this girl who may, uh, be birthing Connor Hawk. Oliver's child, Connor Hawk. It's said that she's she pregnant. She was paid off to pretend that uh, she lost the baby. So, I uh, don't know if they'll ever go anywhere with that with the Connor Hawk way, but the whole point of that is showing what a mother would do for their children. And uh, that's when I knew what was going to happen at the end of this episode was going to yeah. happen. 
though I didn't expect it to happen at the end of this episode. It was a sacrifice episode, and uh, uh, the sacrifices were given by many characters in this yeah. episode. Sarah realized that she wasn't right for Oliver, and that she'd bring a darker side to him than he needs. Yeah, uh, that he needs somebody that's lighter, and she sacrificed herself to go and probably bring Re- Reza Ghul. Yeah. Race. Some people say race. Some people say race. Ra- they say it differently on the show depending upon what like mm. nationality you are. So, whatever. Uh, the uh, the demon so, yeah it's just uh, uh, it's probably going to be coming out on the show I'm not sure what actor is going to be playing him I know uh, we'll not Liam Neeson the, but we no. will see some kind we'll of we'll see something I'm sure they've been like hinting at it and so she sacrificed Roy uh, uh, the girl that Roy knew they, Sin? yeah she Sin she, like she ultim- uh, she jumped in front of a gun and she yeah. never got shot but she Offered up herself as sacrifice to save Roy. Yeah. Everybody was sacrificing something, so it was. It had to culminate in some big, like, thing yeah, at the end. Yeah. And, did, and did it ever? Uh, basically, yeah. Oliver's put through the exact same thing that he was on the island with Ivo, except this time it's Thea and Mara instead of Shadow and Sarah. And Slade, and, and Slade does the unthinkable. Slade kills a character off, and uh, he kills off someone that he shouldn't have cut off because it hurts his character. I know that they they can go with a. He was insane and stuff like that, but that only that works for nondescript characters. That's the reason that having Roy kill a cop in the thing it's okay because you know he's one he's insane and you have no connection to the cop. It's going to be much much harder to if they want to redeem Slade at all to redeem him at all at this point. Uh, it looks like Slade may not be an ongoing part of the show. That that actually he actually may have an arc that takes him out. Uh, at some to point, maybe just fair. if they do anything with Slade, one of the I'm things guessing. we talked about earlier, and one of the reasons you dislike uh, Moira's death is because you likened it to uh, to Smallville. Smallville, the death of uh, Lionel specifically, because Lionel was oh, a big character. Or not just Lionel, actually. No, you mentioned right back to season five and yeah. the death, yeah, yeah. the mistaken death of uh, of, of Jonathan. But, uh, in the but the thing about that is, uh, one of your favorite characters was Lionel. In fact, he was your favorite character. Lionel was my favorite character. And he was, he became the good father figure type. But before that, On he killed, <laughs> before that, he kills a shitload of people. He just ops bunches of people, and he's unimaginably evil. He attempts to kill every single one of the cast members at the end of season three. But they but don't he, die, and there's no, and he doesn't to be kill fair, anybody that you really say, oh man, I can't, I'm ne- I can't forgive Lionel for killing that person. This is Slade killing off, arguably the heart, the oh, of don't the show. Give me the heart of yes, the show. Yes, aside from Diggle, this girl is pretty much the heart of the show. She's. Uh, I'm like the. You need an and you need an older focus for a show like this. It can't See, be if if it, if it's just young. It, thank God there's still Diggle. Yeah. If Diggle goes, you're you're screwed because no, well, if it's Diggle's all young hip people, then it's Beverly Hills nine hundred two and old with arrows, and I don't want that. See. Here's the difference, because you're like, oh, this is Smallville, they made a mistake of doing that. In Smallville, the whole thing, Superman wasn't in that show. That was Clark. That was a young Clark but needing he- people to shape him into Superman. So yeah, when he lost his like big but- like adult figures that are showing him where he's going to go, yes, that makes sense. But this isn't, oh, look, it's Oliver Clean. what am I going to do with this air bow and arrow set? I don't even know. No. He is Arrow. He's Green Arrow. He's been Green Arrow since he got back in the first episode. No, he has This is just shaping. No, he has Oh, that's give me a So break. not true. He was completely... The full first season of Arrow yeah. is basically saying how to do it wrong. And throughout the whole season, he does things completely wrong. The second season has been about Oliver's redemption for all the mistakes that he made in the first season. Uh... Becoming nice. Arrow is a growing process, and when it doesn't, when it's not a growing process, when he stops making these mistakes, that's when the show becomes boring and boring and And we can't. To be fair, have that. he, in the actual comics, he didn't pop back up and start killing people. Well, in the actual no, comics, he was a very, he was very much. If we want to really get into what Arrow yeah. was, he was a rip off of Batman when he yeah. came. Yeah. Well, out. yeah, but we're not going to the nineteen sixties. I'm talking about current comics. You want to go to like 
most popular, well-known. Well, let's Lon not go Bo to the Hunter-esque current stuff. comics because well, yeah, Long Hunter is was okay, but yeah. current comics, he pretty much is again a ripoff of the Batman type yeah. thing with the gimmicks and stuff, which is really. I don't know. Actually, I've heard his uh, his like comic in New Fifty Two has been completely changed to be well, it has based been, off of Arrow. It's one of the worst based comics. Based off of Arrow, when they had a they had a thing going on recently called the Outsiders War, based on the Outsiders. It was one of the worst comics that the New Fifty Two put out. It's right up there with Mr. Terrific. It's I, I the most heard it got really, really, really good once it got... Uh, I read the first switched. five issues and I couldn't keep going. I know. I know, but, but I think it switched around, like, issue 10 or something. And well, thank you. After, after <laughs> to get in 10 issues in and decide, hey, you know what, maybe we're doing something wrong. Well, it, it went to focus more Only on him on the island the and show his has father kept that and comic Shadow on that. The show has kept the comic on the air. Yeah. Actually, the, literally, the, the comic is now the show. But So the, what's your rating of the show? I like, I like this episode... But I, uh, despite the fact that I knew that Moira was going to die, I expected fully Moira was going to die. I didn't expect her to die this soon, and we still got another four episodes. I, uh... I'm expecting a Sarah death going on. I'm expecting something like that. I don't think that Slay is irredeemable. I'm going to give this one a, I guess I'll, I'll give this one a solid seven. I don't think it's an, an, a, the right, an A game episode. I think that was some great stuff. <coughs> Actually, no, no, I'll give it 7.5 because the background story was, was incredible. Mm. And uh, Mara did a great job. They mm. gave her some think, good acting chops. Go I think this episode would have done better. There's another four episodes. I think this episode would have done better if this were three episodes in the, like, in the future. Because this, there's still, like... It's been rushed. Another, yeah, it's a bit like they should have been saving something like this no. or closer to the end. They said they're going to kill someone else. Probably Sarah. Probably, like I doubt it's yeah. going to be anyone else. Sarah, uh, it's not going to be Tessa. This it's not going to be. Yeah, Thea, although she's annoying, so. Not going to uh, be. Thea, it's not going to be. Uh, Thea, what, I keep saying Tessa. You know? Yeah, it's not going to be. Uh, yeah, Tessa. They're not going to kill off Tessa. Why How dare you kill off that girl from Smallville? She was a really big love interest for him in that she show. She died in that show too, didn't she? At the very end, last oh, episode. Yeah. She's so like, oh yeah, oh forgot to kill her off. Yeah. So, Cass, you saw Arrow for the first time today. What did you think? It was good. Yeah, it was great. She, she was. I don't, I don't know anything that's happening. I think it was solid. Great. Things I want to see in the future. Better stuff than this. Oh. Okay. What I have to say right now, uh, check out Film Fatale's channel. It's gonna be a description. It's gonna be linked in the description down below. And my son Dad has actually started up Dad his own channel. He hasn't got anything on it yet, but you got to keep coming on here and telling him the plus stuff in the comment section. Tell him what you want to see him do on his channel. Mr. Scaramouche. So, oh my goodness! Oh, I used the name. I, yeah. used the name. Yeah, you I, did use the name, and you know what? I'm Check gonna, it out. Comment down below and tell my son the type oh, of stuff you'd like to see him do. Um, He's into video games, um, comics, Asian horror, comics, comics, lots of comics. Uh, and uh, my daughter still got her channel, uh, and she does she does book reviews and different stuff, and really she's kind of like taking a hiatus right now to figure out what she wants to do with it. Yeah. But she has some great ideas coming up, so I'm gonna be keeping you guys up to date. And I'm going to be getting these guys to do their own stuff. So thanks for watching, guys. Thanks, Film Tower, for that awesome package. Uh, thanks for my kids as well. Have a great day. For me right now, I'm going to have some tea and upload this here. So uh, it's time for tea. Choose all of us.